this morning is it seems that Erica is weakening. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, the last few days we've been talking about this thing. If it makes it across Hispaniola and Cuba, if. And for right now, it doesn't look like that's the case. The Hurricane Center last night said it's a very real possibility this thing will fall apart completely. Good news. Yeah, great news. But it's one of those situations, Michelle. Expect the worst and hope for the best. Here's the latest satellite imagery. I mean, look at this thing. You know, you really can almost kick it and it fall over dead. 40 mile an hour sustained winds. Uh, pressure's at 1,008. Not that impressive. Center of circulation sitting in here, but notice all of the convection well removed still from the system. And even the convection has come down overnight. Now, here's a look at the latest forecast. Expect it to continue to move over land and spend a good part of the day today over land and then reemerging sometime tomorrow afternoon in the Florida Strait as a weak tropical depression with winds of 35. Then it moves into that warm water, has a narrow window of opportunity to strengthen. This is 2 a.m. on Tuesday or on Monday uh, with winds of 40 miles an hour and then continuing to uh, try to churn northbound toward perhaps the panhandle. But remember, we don't focus on this line, especially with a storm like this that's been shifting left to right. We are focusing on the entire forecast envelope. So it could be as far uh, to the west as out here in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. Could be as far to the east as over in here uh, in over the Florida Peninsula. So we're going to watch it closely. Erica has been a real pain to forecast. So this is kind of the worst threat, if you will, the timing, okay? Tomorrow night, breezy conditions, heavy rains moving in if Erica makes a little bit of a closer pass to central Florida by Monday. The big story will be the tornado threat. It's that right front quadrant that we watch for spin ups in any tropical cyclone. And the current forecast would put us in that right front quadrant. And then Tuesday, more heavy rains as the thing lifts back up to the north. We'll be keeping an eye on it. But hey, for now, it's a weekend. It's Saturday. We're at 76 degrees right now in Orlando, 75 Daytona. It has been a couple of degrees above average to start the day. There's Erica. Here's central Florida. We've got an old front. You see there's a lot of moisture out over the Gulf of Mexico. And even though we're nice and quiet to start, there's plenty of moisture in place. We've been developing a few sprinkles here around Ormond Beach and Ormond by the Sea, lifting up toward the north. So for us today, it's showers and storms much like yesterday. High temperatures running about 91 degrees in Orlando, 80 Nine in Ocala. Rain chances uh, rising over the course of the day. 60% coverage before all is said and done. For the boaters, seas running two to three feet, moderate risk of rip currents. All right, so be careful if you're heading out. And surf, by the way, will be on the build over the next couple of days. So 60% chance of rain today, 70% chance of rain for your Sunday. And then Monday through Wednesday, we're watching Erica closely. Many question marks in that forecast. Michelle, we will keep you advised. Thanks so much.